Hi everyone, Krushkal's algorithm. In this video, we will see what is the meaning of Krushkal's algorithm and their applications and what is the MST, minimum spanning tree. And the, we will see the steps to find the minimum spanning tree by Krushkal's method. And we will solve some questions of the previous year question paper. Okay, now we will see what is the meaning of Krushkal's algorithm. The Krushkal algorithm is a fundamental method used in a graph theory. It is a one of the fundamental method used in a graph theory to find the MST. To find the MST means minimum spanning tree. To find the minimum spanning tree. It is a minimum spanning tree. It is a weighted and connected and undirected graph. It is a weighted and connected and undirected graph. It's a greedy algorithm. You can, it is a, uh, Krushkal algorithm is a greedy algorithm that builds MST, that meaning minimum spanning tree by selecting the shortest edges we, we, in the every step. At each step, in every step, we are selecting the shortest edges only. That does not form a cycle and it should not be form a cycle. Okay. While solving the questions, we will come to know. Okay. We, in the every step, we are selecting the shortest edge and we, we need to uh, check that one it should not form a cycle that is a that is that two is very important okay now we'll see the applications the Krushkal's algorithm used in a various applications of network design optimization problem solving and tv networks and many others also okay next is what is the minimum spanning tree the Krushkal algorithm we used to find the mst to find the minimum spanning tree only what is the meaning of minimum spanning tree okay what is the meaning of this one so it is this is the minimum spanning tree is a subgraph it is a subgraph it, it includes all the vertices of the graph okay what is the given graph now it is a, it includes all the vertices and it should it should be a connected it should be a connected and it should does not have any cycles or loops in that one okay a minimum spanning tree is a subgraph such that all the vertices exist. That means all the vertices, vertices should be included. Suppose if the main graph having the seven vertices, the subgraph should also have the compulsory. We should include all the seven vertices. Adjust no. Okay. I will see uh, while solving the question. And it should be a connected. It should be a connected means it's not. Uh, it should be a connect uh, to uh, all the uh, edges together. Okay. The graph connects all the vertices together without forming any cycle. Without forming any cycle. You it, here it's uh, it's not. Uh, there is no cycles in that uh, subgraph. Okay. With the minimum possible total edge of the weight, we are selecting here minimum weights. Okay. Here, what is the, why we are calling this is the minimum spanning tree means that the reasoning, uh, reason is here, the sum of the weights of the edges is here minimum. We are selecting in uh, each step the minimum weight only. That's the reason we have, it's given the name is a minimum spanning tree only. Okay, it's, a, it's name itself tells us the, it's a minimum spanning tree. The sum of the weights of the edges is a minimum. So we call it as a minimum spanning tree. Now we'll see the steps for solving the mini, uh, minimum spanning tree. It's a, uh, to find the minimum spanning tree with the n vertices. See here, it has the n vertices. Number of vertices is here, n. Okay. Remember this one. It has the n vertices. Now, first, what is the first step here? We have to uh, sort all the edges in the graph by weight in an ascending order. We have to sort all the edges of the graph weight according to the weight in a weight in an ascending order. Okay. You have, they, they will give the weights. You have to write the edges according to as, uh, according to the weight ascending order okay next step is here select the shortest edge that meaning is or with a minimum weight first we need to select the the shortest edge after that the third step is here keep including the next minimum edge first we have to uh, select the uh, lowest last lowest shortest edge we need to select after that in the third step we keep including the edges with the next minimum edges we are including next minimum edges to the MST as long as no cycle is formed. We need to check this one. It should not have form a cycle. Okay. It should not form a cycle. And see here if suppose its cycle is forming. We need to skip that edge. Skip the edge if it is creates a cycle or loops. If it is creating that if any edges is creating any cycle or loops. We need to skip that edge. Okay. It is the third step. And the fourth one is here. It's a, a valid MST means it is a correct MST is there has a exactly n minus 1 edges. What is n here? n is the number of vertices. If number of vertices suppose assume that it is a 10 vertices then edges should come. The valid MST exactly has how many edges? 9 edges will come. Okay. How many vertices is there? Na? Minus 1 edges will come. So we you can uh, uh, cross verify this using this one. It should have the n minus 1 edges. Remember n is here. What is the n here? n is the number of vertices. Okay. The valid MST has has exactly not less than not more than it's they are telling here exactly n minus one edges if it is suppose if you are not getting n minus one edges then you um, you assume you you uh, consider that you did the something mistake in that one and do first uh, again okay 
where n is the number of vertices. So valid chemistry has exactly how many edges here? n minus vertices. Suppose it's exactly 10 vertices means it should be a 9 edges. If it is the uh, 12 vertices means it should be a 11 edges. Okay. The valid MST has exactly 11 edges. Okay. After that, we stop uh, adding the edges once you reach this number. Once you reach this number, you stop adding the edges. Okay. After you add, then also it will not possible because it it, uh, it forms a cycle. Okay. It, the, it will stop... Uh, uh, Automatically, when it is reaches the n minus one edges, okay. While solving the question, we will see this one, okay. Then sum of the weights. After that, we need to add all the weights of the edges. That is the that uh, that is the total cost of the minimum spanning tree, okay. The sum of the weight there is the n minus one edges will the constitute required minimum minimal cost of the spanning tree. You can call it as the cost, value, weight. All the meaning is same only. In the some the questions they will use what is the cost, what is the value, what is the weight, all the meaning is same only. Okay. Now we will see the question.